Welcome guys. Um today in today's video tutorial we'll be talk it will be you know uh we'll be doing here's the money coding. I'll basically show you uh it will be all coding. But in today we'll be talking about Node.js and we'll be also we'll, we'll cover Express and um, of course you know the idea is like how to write a JavaScript in Node uh, Node using I mean like for a lot of people you know most of <laughs> for me like I came from the you know like server side background you know um in server side I write a lot of code in Java and you know C sharp and all different kind of Python all those things but most of the time in the front side only in, only in the front end we write JavaScript with the node what the node allow you to do is write the JavaScript in the server side that opens a lot of possibility for us for example we can you know most you know, most of the time because of security well not most of the time because of the security the from job from browser you cannot open file a lot of things you cannot do in your machine but with the node.js you can do all those kind of cool things and we're we'll also talking about express and we'll of course you know basically we'll be pulling our data from the mysql server database and i will show you how to you know uh, how to connect to mysql database and all those kind of thing and we'll be using a visual studio we'll be using visual studio and then i will show you how to download a template somebody uh, there is a codeplex project that you can download and integrate that project that template into Visual Studio and you can use that template to create the project and well I'm not going to go into detail but in this in exact in this example I'm using something called you know like this uh, templating engine called the JED that's what we are using to uh, render the uh, render the, the HTML this is JED they're like there are so many uh, so many of templating in you know templating engine like Jade or they they got EGS and so many things every day new thing coming up you know. Anyway, I'm I'm also very very new to Jade and all these things, so um, I will be not going to cover that much into a Jade at all. But I I will show you a little code. Okay. Okay. If a lot of people you know like I'm pretty sure you know not everybody is familiar with a Node, so let's briefly talk about Node very first thing I want you to do is um, if you if you want to follow this tutorial just go into uh, and if you know in your machine this is what you post this is the what you have to do you know first you gotta download node node.js into your application into your computer into your machine based on whether you are using uh, Mac or Windows or whatever you're gonna download the appropriate type of um, you know binary and in, in this case in Windows I'll just download the MSI and in in my case, what I did was mine is 64-bit machine, so I downloaded this one. You know, it's it's installation is pretty easy. You just follow the instruction provided by it, and then if once everything is done, just to verify that you know no JS is completely installed in your machine, if you open your uh, DOS prompt here, in my case, right this one. Um. So what happens? What happens is like um. Let me close this one. Okay. See this? It is telling me, hey, this this DOS prompt is right now is a Node.js enabled, Node.js, and then of course you know there is something called npm. npm. I'll talk about later about what npm is, but right now just to make sure the node is working in your machine, you can do a node. You can just type node here. Let me change that. I like this color better. Okay, so um, you just say node. Now your node cell is ready to for you to type something. You can test your JavaScript. For example, you can do let's declare a variable a and assign ten or something to it. And then if you say a, oh, you know what? This color is <laughs> the, the, let me change the color. This okay. It is printed, but like the color is a little different. So um, color, I don't know. Okay, this might be a little better. Okay. So as you, as you, as you, let me see. I'm gonna do a node and let's say um, I'm gonna let's say declare variable b equals to 100 or something. And if I do b here, it it prints out the b, which is cool. You can play with your JavaScript in 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 in, uh, in your um, in your console, right? Let's 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 look a little. Let's even write a little function here called function double it. Oh. Let 
I don't when they write this uh you know what this color is killing me even though that's it it has this one color so um I'm gonna uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna change color here okay I'm just this color is fine so um it's a node I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's say I would, we would like to write a little function here uh double it and it takes the number just this example you know you can do all kind of cool stuff just even in in, in, in your in your in nodes double it takes the n as a number and we double n times n right okay okay we got a method here and we can say uh, double it and pass some parameter in this uh, double it <laughs> okay the idea is like you know what I'm trying to show is like you can you can test sometime you know you might need some little method and you can do a testing in the in the in DOS pro I mean, in, in your uh, console also of course you wouldn't be writing all this you know uh, complicated project in here but uh, you'll be using the ID and stuff okay okay this is all I'm going to talk about Node.js for now let's make sure you guys have installed the Node.js Oh, next thing, once you have installed Node.js and assuming you are using your Visual Studio as an IDE, the, what you can do, and if you have Visual Studio 2013, that's what I have in my case, what you can do is um, you can download, the, you, go, you can go into a CodePlex right here and you can download this tool for Visual Studio. That's what I did. I just downloaded this one. It is an MSI file and just basically followed that. Uh, uh, installation it's pretty easy and I, I think what I have noticed is like if you have Visual Studio open you gotta close it install this um, tool in, and it automatically plot, it automatically basically template is becomes visible in Visual Studio I'll show you what I mean okay of course this is the code that I wrote but I'll, I'll go by one by one I'll be showing you how to write code like this and go ahead and close my Visual Studio and you know since I have already installed this Node.js tool for Visual Studio so I'm going to open my Visual Studio and show you what I mean so usually you will see all the template that I currently installed and if you go into tool and then go into this um, extension and updates here you can see all the all the tool all the you know tools that is currently installed in the machine I, I have like a Node.js tool and then interactive window, all this thing. I think this become visible um, once you install that, you know, uh, the code place pro that Node.js, you know, tools for the Visual Studio. Okay, let's say I would like to um, create a new project here. New project. And of b it is right now it's giving all kind of template. Once you install that code plex, see all this template becomes visible to you. You can write a project or Node.js project from Visual Studio. So uh, here, this is the template I'm going to choose. Okay. Um, it it you can choose you can you can it, it, you can also write you can play with using the console application also. But like I said in this example, we'll be using a web application. So if you if you want to use web application, either you can use this express this basic template or this one is a little better. It has Linux you know, some that uh, the automatic has a template for Bootstrap and all those things. So I'm gonna grab that one and let's go ahead and give a name for it. Let's say uh, as I showed you I showed you in my demo, I'm gonna I'm gonna it's going to be a web application that can talk to a MySQL database in the back end. So I'm going to give me like web app. Web app. I'm going to say a country search. That's what this can be. Country list. That's okay. Okay. So this t it, it is asking you, hey, there is a... Um, there is a dependency which in in you know in in Node.js application or Node.js, what happens there is a there is a file called package.json file, that file lists all the dependency that you.